fuck we starting then? I mean, we could be in the episode right now if you want to just like. This in- could be the intro. <laughs> yeah, like, is this the intro? Are we just in it? <laughs> what, me to me not knowing what the fuck onomatopoeia is? Sure. Is this good enough no, this by Baker's standards? No. <laughs> I might put it in. This is not Baker approved. This is not a Daker production. A Daker production does not approve. Well, half of it does. Fuck that half. <laughs> the half in charge of the production does. Fuck that. <laughs> well, and, go. And, and an outsider's perspective. Yeah, I'm trying to get the episode started. Well, we can't run out of memory. Well, we're here. Welcome. Okay, so we're in it. Absolutely. Welcome back. As long back. as you're with friends, you'll never run out of memory. Yeah, yeah, right. Welcome back. Welcome here. Welcome <laughs> first time joiners. Make sure yes. you subscribe. Yes. Hey. Um. Actually, speaking of that, speaking of subscribers, likes, and all that, uh, our listeners did actually start liking our videos a lot more, so thank you guys. Yes, thank you. And the views have gone up just from doing that. So Tremendously. Yes, so thank you very <laughs> much for liking and all that. Uh, you want to know something else? What? Bro. No. You ever sat in a Tesla? Mm, no. All right. So I sat. In Even one. though two of my siblings have them. <laughs> All right. Well, I sat in one in a new one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was like, oh, man, she's going to have that new car smell. No. It's be a terrible joke. What? It's going to be. <laughs> you know where it's going? No. Um, I don't. Because it's not a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's you're smiling life. like it's a joke. Yeah, <laughs> because so. I always smile. You know. It's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> He's just trying to Yeah, dude, it, it didn't like have that new car bad. smell, though. Okay, well, what's it the It had more of an Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. God caught on to That's it so right in the bad. middle of it. That's so bad. But I, I actually wanted to... <laughs> I did actually want to talk about your dad jokes this week. And what? there's a reason well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's got one more. Okay. Why did Adele cross the road? To say hello from the other side. My I was man. Say, I, don't, <laughs> I know it, it's got to be a play on one of her songs, but I, I listen to good music, so I don't know. You oh, listen. man. I will disagree with you yeah, wholeheartedly. Probably. I know Adele, she's Adele super is talented. Good, man. Yeah. I know she's talented. But, she's talent. Guilty no, pleasure right there. Okay. Well, I did want to bring up your dad jokes because I realized uh, this week. Go ahead and hit that X. Get that out of here. Yuck. That's not me. Yeah, I know. That was the TV. Silence your stuff. The TV just rang. Actually, uh, scroll down from the top, Tim. Yep, and hit the... Oh, the moon's on. What? Yeah. What? Uh, it's because it was a messenger uh, call. Lame. God, I fucking... Turn that dater off. She knows we're recording right now. Turn the dater off. God damn. Well, we can't because Tim has current events. Uh. So, anyway... Uh, I have them on my phone. Go. I guess I could use that. But. Yeah, who cares? All but right. then we can't see it as a whole fucking ordeal. Yeah, yeah. She just needs to stay on topic. Uh, so <laughs> I realized this Get week. Over here. <laughs> I realized this week that I utilize dad jokes and like stupid jokes because this is this is when it's appropriate. Okay. Yeah. It is not appropriate to start a podcast with it every week. No, it is appropriate. Um, but it is. It's definitely appropriate. It is appropriate when. Uh, you're in corporate America, and you're dealing with the whitest of people. Yeah, when you're at work. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So there's there's a thing up there called crazy glue. When right? you live in the Midwest. Right, especially, <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, everybody I work with is great. I have no issues with them at all or anything like that. But I realized in corporate America, you do not have to be funny to be funny. Right. You don't, like, if you're actually funny, you're probably fired. So <laughs> yeah, no, I've tried it like a couple times, and it just just didn't go. Over yeah, well. if if <laughs> you're telling real jokes out there, it goes over people's heads, or yep. it's not appropriate, or something. Like but, the the dumbest whoop. things at my job, they find funny. I'm just like, <laughs> right. that's not funny. That's yeah, that's my point. <laughs> Which oh, do you do the? Uh, Is that cotton candy banger? <laughs> that's Banksterberry, baby. Bankster Bankster Berry. Bankster Berry. Okay. Uh, so this is it's not, not an bad. endorsement. Oh, it is an ador- endorsement. Baker yeah. is hopped up on bangers. Yeah, I nope. mean shit. I ain't, <laughs> it is not an endorsement. Bangs. But if they'd like to en- endorse, no free them. ads. No free ads. <laughs> you got to turn the label up. Over. No, no, no free ads. <laughs> They're not paying us. Uh-huh. I slipped the name. I yeah. thought you were doing that on purpose. No, yeah, he I is. Tra- Get out of no, here. No, I thought you were trying. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Yeah, no, go ahead. No free ads. But uh, keep going. Anyway. Corporate America, you can get away with some dad jokes, hardcore. Oh, yeah. And they'll think you're the king of the yeah, world. Yeah, and and I did it. I did it a couple days ago. What you, you ready hit for him this? With? Yeah. Hell yeah! I hit him with it, and 
dude, and I was like, Baker would be proud. So I would be. And this was off the top of the dome, right? Because I'm actually creative. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like, them up. I don't have a book of dad Yeah, jokes. I don't look them up five minutes before the show starts. Uh, <laughs> I'd be slipping sometimes. I'd be slipping. But uh, so I, I was messaging uh, a higher up that I work with. And she is very cool. She's very nice and everything. Um, but I, I told her, I said, hey, at this point, I think we both need pay raises, right? And she was like, she's like, yeah, you know, haha. She's like, or at least a long vacation or, you know, whatever. And, uh, and I was like, I was like, I think, I think, uh, the company would fall apart if we took a vacation. And I was like, more you than me, right? Cause she's yeah, higher yeah. up. She, she's very good at her job. She does a ton. And she goes, oh, like, you're crazy. You're the glue that holds holds us together or whatever. And I was like, I was like, dad joke time. You ready? <laughs> and she's she's older. I don't know how old she is, you know, mid 40s, 50, something like that. And she's like, you're the glue that holds us together. And I was like, maybe if you're talking about crazy glue. And she was like, oh. And I was like, that's the worst joke of all time. But I had I to do it. I, I literally it. made a dumb to joke. slip it in. I can't remember the joke, but I, I made like a super dumb joke at work the other day, and like they were all in the back room laughing. I'm like, "Don't laugh at that." Right, <laughs> like, it's, right, it's right. really bad. <laughs> it's 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 so bad. But like, so like in that one, the reason I did it is because that is the worst, most fifty year old dad joke you you could ever come yeah. up with. Yeah, crazy glue. Hell yeah! And I knew it would give me brownie points. <laughs> And I was like, this is so bad, and I'm going to do it. I typed see, it out because we were on Teams see, and stuff. Baker serves a purpose. That's what I'm saying, dude. You just got to fucking roll with it. That's right. That's what it is. But again, you got to know when it's appropriate and when we're actually doing yeah. somewhat of a comedy no, show. You, think, you have to thank Baker for your brownie points. That's what I'm saying. If it wasn't for me, oh, you wouldn't no. be getting those brownie oh, points. Oh, no. This would have came yeah. way before you. Oh, no. That was, a, I, that was a Baker moment. We'll roll with that. No, I, I did. I Appreciate did. Uh, That's why we're at Daker Productions. I, I did sit at my desk. I typed it out, and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to send this. I thought of you, and I went, this one's for you. He's like, That's send what it. I'm saying, you yeah. see? My yeah, man. So it was an My ode man. to you that's not because of you. Okay, let's, let's not or. get it twisted. Either or it's a win. Yeah, it might be a win. It we might could be twist win. them together and it's both. See, like a pretzel. Never mind. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get on that one. <laughs> um I got some other fucking crazy news. You ready? Do you? Because I'll follow up with your crazy news. Okay. My crazy well, news. mine's not crazy, but it is a follow up. Mine's fucking crazy. Oh. Is a follow up from a previous episode, and it's one of our f- one of my favorite clips that we've ever put out. Yeah, about being a personal trainer. You yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. I did it again yesterday. Uh, th- I was a personal <laughs> trainer again. He's back, the king of fitness. Me oh, from shit. my car once did, in a blue moon. Did it again. Got him. So where at? Right out here. Right at the end of my road. Oh, you ready close for this? to home. So remember, just to recap, if, if people don't know, I'm not going to get into the full story, but essentially the first time there was a cyclist, I guess is the right word. I was going to say biker, but yes, yeah, cyclist <laughs> is cyclist. actually the appropriate word, I believe. And, uh, you know, I was a gentleman in my car and I let him cross the street when I knew he wasn't ready to cross the street. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And I waved him across. I knew he wasn't ready, but you can't you can't say, "Oh no, I'm not ready." When somebody's waving you across, especially when you're trying to get yep. your fitness on, right? Yeah, you got to take your opportunities yeah, when you can right. get them. Yeah. So I let him across. He goes across and then gets off his bike, and I just felt really good because I made him do something that he didn't want to do, <laughs> involving exercise. So I'm a personal. Trainer. You made him go that little extra, right? Extra yeah, right. few steps. Pushed him. Yep. Pushed him. Pushed yeah. him. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and, uh, you know, as we discussed, that guy still owes me money. Haven't seen him since. You know, I gave him a hard workout, so he didn't come back. But Damn. Uh, yesterday, I did it again. This like time. In lieu of payment, here, can you scan this real quick? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but this time, I did it to a lady, not a female, a lady. Oh, shit. And that's because I don't discriminate. This one's and, for ladies. And I pulled out here. That's phrasing. I <laughs> I was at the end of my road, and I see her running, right? And there's cars and stuff, so I can't go anyway. But she runs to the road to where she's going to cross, but she stops. 
And I was like, nah, bitch. Opportunity. Go. Right? <laughs> you get no break. Right. And then she was like, oh, you're being such a gentleman, so I'm going to run across, right? So she runs across, keeps running on the sidewalk a little bit, right? I end up turning out, and I end up going past her. <laughs> and when she gets to the cross section of the other road, she stops and, like, starts to bend over like she's exhausted. She and probably I'm like, was. Yeah, I gave you that extra little push. Personal trainer. <laughs> you might have just pushed her into a heart attack. I mean, she should have been prepared coming into my my area. She was prepared to stop at that five-mile mark of her run. And five you point, said, nah, 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 5.1 five point or zero nothing. Two. <laughs> and by the way, this chick was not running five miles. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm trying to get her to that five-mile mark. You better go past her five-minute mark. <laughs> yeah, I probably <laughs> did. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to jog to the end of the street. She was probably Down about this to, hill. <laughs> she was probably about to turn around or something, and I was like, nah, keep going. Nah, you good. Yeah, keep going. So, you got this. So, uh, yeah, go so two people. Go down to that people. damn swim meet or dive meet down the street or whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Is that right you now? Did past that, yeah, too? Yeah, I was like, damn, there's a ton of people over here. I Bro, wonder, they, they parked all the way by the freaking skate park. Yeah, yeah, I was I was wondering because uh, they must have done that last week too because it was similar. Um, there was no baseball games or anything, but yeah, the whole pool parking lot, yeah. the skate park, and the baseball like parking Across lot right here. They yeah, weren't it was really full. over there. And dude, like I looked up at the pool and there was people standing there. Yeah, and there's no room. Like it's I, a it whole was the, crowd. The most people that I've yeah. ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I've over never there. seen that many. People. <laughs> and it looked like majority of them were by the diving boards. Yeah, I didn't get like to look at that. The, I didn't really pay attention. Well, I used to don't. swim there all the time, so right. I kind of know the layout. So when I looked over there, that's like where most of the people yeah. looked like they were surrounding it. We're in like the back of the yeah. pool. But that shit was crazy. Crazy. What else was crazy? You want to know what was crazy? Sure. I, so I don't know exactly how this happened. So again, in, <laughs> so I don't want people to think like, oh, it's fucking aliens. I don't know what the hell happened. Okay, I Here truly we go. don't. You got so, video this time? No, I don't have video. I don't. But I'm I've, sure I've got the story. Oh, I almost had the fucking cops come to the house. Oh, <laughs> it shit. Almost, it happened. Okay. Um. So, when was it? Not, yeah, last, what is today? Friday? Friday. Yeah. So, it was Thursday morning when I got home from work. Last week? This week. So, yesterday. Yesterday morning. Yeah. See, third shift fucks <laughs> me all up. Third, third, third shift, shift life. life. Yep. Yeah, yep. so Thursday morning, um, I go to sleep, and it was like, I think I finally got to bed at like 8.30 in the morning. A.M. A.M., right? 8.30 in the morning. And both the kids were upstairs, still sleeping. And, no, I got to bed at like 9. Because that makes a big difference. Well, because Danielle was already gone. Okay. Because she worked at 9, so she had already left. Kids she were could upstairs. have also left at 8.30. Right, to get there at 9. Your reasoning. <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> but not relevant, or not, <laughs> not in, imperative to the storytelling. Yeah. <laughs> so, I set the alarm like I normally do, right? I locked the back door, set the alarm, and everything set. Everything was good. I go upstairs, and about 10.30, I hear Pearl going nuts. Like she does. Yeah, right? Like she does. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Now, mind you, I've been asleep now for an hour and a half, so I'm not even close to... Not in your right state of mind. Not even close to it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And then all of a sudden my phone rings, and it's an 800 number, and I'm like, fuck that. I'm trying to go back to bed. Right. Like anybody typically would, right, when you're trying to sleep? For sure. Danielle then calls me. I'm like, shit. Okay. I Let me answer this real what quick. Man. It was. <laughs> Danielle calls me and she's like, what's going on? The alarm's going off. The cops are about to come to the house. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you're I, like, I'm in the house. I don't know what you're talking I'm just, about. I'm just chilling. I'm like, I'm upstairs. So I immediately like, I don't even fucking go downstairs first. I immediately like, boom, Caden's room, sleeping. Right? Good. Yeah. Boom, Jaslyn's room, sleeping. Okay. Right? Good yeah. start. We all was sleeping. <laughs> right. Right? That's the only three humans in the house. Right. And then you got Pearl. Right. No hands. Right. <laughs> She's not opening doors. 
So I go downstairs and I check and my front door is, so to get to my front porch, let's explain it that way, there is a door and then and there's like a little square square room. You're talking about like from a, the inside. From like the a, inside, yeah. Like a sunroom? Yeah. It's, it's not like even a mud that, room type. Okay. Yeah. But it's like literally like the size of a door width. Yeah, like it's it's a not five big. by very, five. Very tiny. Yeah. It's like a five by five room, like pretty Yeah. Pretty small. I think I have something similar to that. Too. And then like so once you're in there, right? The one door opens into the house. Mm-hmm. And then once you're in there, the door to the front porch will open and it swings in this way. And then um the storm door, which is the last one, opens towards like the road. So everything okay. else opens the opposite way. Right. And the storm door opens towards the road. So you gotta pull that one open, right? From the outside. Right. Or if you're on the inside, push it open. That's how doors work. Right. <laughs> well, I just want everybody to get like a right. you know, a feel for this, right? So Danielle swears that she locked the door, which I believe her. I don't understand why it wouldn't be unlocked anyway, right? But you that's guys, even besides the point. You guys don't even really use that door that often, do you? Just to get the mail. Right. Or if I go out and Or like cook DoorDash or something. or something. Yeah, like something like that. So it's not like we don't use it as an entrance mm-hmm. exit way. Like it's not one of those. Right. So it doesn't really have much traffic. But I fucking go there. The door is literally cracked open. Like... I don't know if it wasn't fully latched, but then if it wasn't fully latched, my alarm wouldn't have allowed me to set it. It would have told right. me that the front right. door was open, right? Yeah. And even if it was not fully latched, but enough to make a sensor, like you would have to have somewhat of a breeze come through and open that up, right? right. So There's the no outside fuck- door would have had to be open too. Correct, which it wasn't. I checked the ring camera. That's that was gonna be my follow up question. Yeah, absolutely no motion whatsoever was going on out there. Even checked like live motion right after because the shit just happened. Right, it's not really that windy out. Right. Wasn't really a breeze, so I'm like, huh? What in the fuck happened? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, like it freaked me the hell out, and so like then I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay. I'm literally checking the entire house, bro. Right. Check the entire house. You have to. Like, check the whole room that I, or the floor that I was on. Downstairs. Yeah. Walked up to the attic. I'm like, dude, fuck this. Like, what is going on? But nothing. There was absolutely nothing. Pearl wouldn't have let him through easily anyway. Yeah. And that's the thing. Pearl doesn't even let me through easily half the time. Yeah. Pearl wouldn't have done anything. And she was just going nuts more at the alarm than anything. Like, there wasn't a body in there. There was not. I don't understand what the fuck happened. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, so your outside like screen door could have opened from a gust of wind or something. And then maybe the wind like changed directions or it bounced off the the porch. Yeah. And then slammed shut and then the pressure pushed the other door pushed open. The door open. But I don't know. I mean, that's that's a very specific way yeah. to make that yeah. happen. So I don't, fu- dude. Some weird shit is going on in my house. It is <laughs> like I, and that's it the is. thing. Like, I'm not trying to sit here and make people think that oh, like these are fucking aliens, and this is why I believe in aliens. And I believe in aliens for other shit. Like, I'm just saying we got we got lists. Yeah, of we got lists. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't want you to think that oh, he's just fucking. This is an alien proof or anything. No, man, right. this is just fucking weird shit. Like, this is this is a pro alien podcast. Yeah, we definitely pro alien for show. One one week it's a hundred percent pro alien, <laughs> and the following week it's sixty seven percent pro alien. Yeah, so yeah, that's a pretty pretty, pretty positive high. It's rate. Still, it's still pretty high rate. Yeah. yeah, five out of six. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if that's right, but that, it works for me too. It is what it, what it is, works bro. for me. It is, what but it it's is. just crazy how that shit happens, dude. Like I don't. Yeah, I don't know. So I want to. Um, I was looking before I came in here. Um, I was looking to see how I can get like history, history of my fucking house. I mean, probably like uh, like proper like city hall city, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, is that what it would be like yeah. owners Imagine. and shit, or like what was on the property prior to the yeah. house and shit? Like yeah, records. Yeah, because I'm I'm curious now. Your backyard kind of looks like a cemetery. What the fuck you mean? 
it's probably, just like, it's probably built on an Indian burial ground. Just the way that it's laid out, I could see, you know, four four to six bodies being buried back there. You ever, you ever dug up your backyard? <laughs> uh, some places, yeah. Yeah? You should dig more. Yeah, you should dig approximately <laughs> six feet down and see what you find. I can't stand either <laughs> one of you guys. You know why they bury people six feet? Uh, so isn't it something like, so if they stand up, they're still not out of the ground or something crazy? Absolutely know. not. <laughs> that oh, sounded good. Oh God, did, didn't I it? feel like that it's another I might have dad just, joke we're walking into. I know, me too. No, this but, is legit. Oh, I, at okay, least I don't right. know if it's legit. I heard it. <laughs> I haven't fact checked it, but it makes sense. Okay. What is it? Um, it's, uh, what is it? Not decompensation, but, um, so like animals and shit, like raccoons and fucking right. squirrels and shit aren't able to catch, like, your scent oh, of the okay. human body. So they oh, don't, okay. like, go down and sense. try yeah. to get you. Dig it out. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the exact terminology I like for mine what better. I... Yeah, yours was good. <laughs> I don't know the exact terminology for it. Mine involved zombies, so mine's better. <laughs> you said so they can't fucking stand up. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> it's, six, it's six feet. <laughs> oh, <I> sp- <laughs> I mean, look, it sounded good. It was fair. I give you that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I just made it up. But I guarantee it. I know it. the average person right now is about six feet or shorter. <laughs> and in history, like we've only recently been getting bigger and bigger. So That's in the history of people, I guess in the history of people, they were all Maybe the, generally like smaller. Old terminology way, you know. Yeah. So I'm thinking back, you know, in the. You know, in 1925, Dude, when they you know started burying crazy? people, <laughs> you came they, up with that response this. off the dome, and you have the best fucking explanation behind yeah. why it should be that. So, He's got the logic. Uh, dude, look, the logic was on point. Look, it makes sense, right? It I makes know. absolute yeah. sense. Yeah. Just, absolute know, sense. I, I've been trying to get you on my level. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. It, it makes <laughs> sense, and it's the first thing I thought of, and I probably made it up. But I don't know if I'm familiar. sticking with it. I don't know if you're familiar. One of my favorite jokes, like stand-up jokes, is from Norm Macdonald. He's talking about how he, he would bury how he would bury somebody. He's like, and I would bury them in a very deep, deep grave. <laughs> <laughs> right. Norm Macdonald's hilarious. <laughs> He's amazing. He's a, a deep, legend. Deep grave. I did. Okay. So, are you done with your alien front door story? Yeah. Okay. Because. I mean, we we got to get we got to get down to business. You ready? Let's do it. Everybody, get up. Oh, am I? Might. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's good. I like it, but we're not quite there yet. Oh man, we're not quite there I was yet. Early with it, but I like it. I like it. We'll have you do that again in about five minutes. <laughs> 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 All right, but you no. tell us how you fucked up. Oh yeah, so I totally forgot about that. So oh, yeah. this one will be quick, but yeah. So <laughs> that's I, what she said. Always. That hurt. Uh, <laughs> that's not what she said with you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we're, off, we're off the rails. But, yeah, so I kind of, like, fucked up. It's not a big deal. And so check this out. I love how you keep, <laughs> Look, how you keep saying that. It's not a big deal, but it's just annoying because <laughs> I fucked up when I left your house, so I halfway blame you. Um, but I also don't know when I fucked up. I was moving around <laughs> a lot, so I wanted to turn the mic off. And also, I told you guys that, and then you could have realized how I fucked up if you were really paying attention after I told you that, but you didn't. So there's that also. I was, I mean, I was paying attention. But mm. <laughs> we fucked up, apparently. Yeah, it's your fault. So we were. I was leaving Baker's house, right? On Saturday, went over there to watch the UFC. Great card. Great. Uh, great matches. Yeah, yeah, it was a good-ass night. Had a lot of fun. Uh, I ended up taking this little TV over there, and we watched it in the basement. Yeah. It was a good time. Um, so when when I was leaving, I had a little, uh, like, Walmart bag or whatever, like a plastic bag of just stuff, right? So I put, like, empty Red Bulls in there, you know, uh... I don't even remember what I had, but just crap in there that that would make it easy to carry while carrying right. a little TV. Um, one of the thing, one of the things in there uh, was the TV remote. Oh no! And I'm pretty sure I specifically 
either went to the gas station that night or the night after and just took this bag thinking it's all trash. And I'm pretty <laughs> sure I threw it away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that is we, have, we no longer have a uh, remote for this TV. That is hilarious. I, you guys didn't notice that I went up to the TV no, to change it all around? I, I did not notice <laughs> that at all. Honestly, I didn't know that you didn't do that before. <laughs> it's a Roku TV too, isn't it? It's uh yeah. So I downloaded the app. Yeah, and you got so the you phone. You can do it from your phone. Yeah, but the only problem is now, since we connected to your Wi-Fi... I'm not connected to this Wi-Fi. <laughs> and the only button on this fucking TV, because it's a cheaper TV, yeah. is the power button. You should be able to connect. Is your Through app, Wi-Fi. Is your app the only thing connecting to my Wi-Fi? No. no. The, t- the this TV, TV is connected won't, to the Wi-Fi won't, at your house. Won't connect yeah, to, to my Wi-Fi <sighs> here. And you can't change it because the only button yeah. on the TV is the power button. And you yeah. don't have the setting button physically. Right. right. The- yeah. <laughs> and I can't go like left or right or anything. Or, <laughs> or there's yeah. no menu button on there. Yeah. So, I mean, I can buy a universal right. remote and it's going to be 20 bucks probably. I, I think mean, you whatever. can buy Roku fucking remotes now. Maybe. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's just going to be inconvenient. But like, right. that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not a big deal, but it's annoying. As hell. <laughs> Because, like, also, if you guys, I don't know if you noticed it or or thought it was a little different. Normally, when we come in, there's, like, YouTube playing music and stuff. Oh, yeah, I I I did notice that. I just had music on my phone because I was like, we can't fucking do nothing. I do remember thinking that was weird. (laughs) (laughs) None of that clicked. Right, right. Absolutely right. zero right. of that click. Right. I was like, oh, he's just playing music on his phone. <laughs> right. <laughs> or on the computer. He just wanted to be more in a chill mood, just chilling over there at the desk. Like, <laughs> fuck it. So, yeah, I kind of I kind of fucked up there, but it's all at good. Least but it was, at least you have a good story with it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's half your fault. That's my story. <laughs> so <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but, no, so we for real need to get I down to business. I just from being there. That happened that night. I don't know. Cause oh, it happened that I night. I don't know if I stopped at the gas station you right away. To have. But I will say my state of mind told me everything in the bag was trash. And I mean, it's fair, though. I do the same shit. Apparently, that might have carried over to the following <laughs> day as well. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> but I do the same. I, like, I, I mean, I have the bag, too. Because I always have a bag right there, especially because the kiddos and shit like you'll have yeah. um, like the McDonald's straw wrappers and right. You know what I mean, like the Just little shit. Yeah, but stuff. you yeah. you don't often throw your TV remote in that same bag. <laughs> Fuck no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's the kids I would so. say would probably be more likely to do that than him. Right, dude. <laughs> you Jazzy, know, like, Jazzy was bad with that shit. Thirty year old man. But. Jazzy used to <laughs> always do that with our remote. Like when she was young, young. She, we would always have to replace her remote like at least twice a quarter. She would throw it away? Yeah, she'd twice throw it away. Twice a quarter? Twice a That's quarter. every six weeks. Are you sure about Who that? Who measures time That's that way? That's a bold <laughs> statement. Bro. That's a bold statement. Bro, it, dude, we did that almost like we replaced it like good eight times probably. In a year? No, six, six eight times in a year. And then we just That's said, screw it. You need That's a, new- a lot, man. Yeah. Dude, at that point, I'm not getting new remotes. I'm getting a new daughter. Oh, dude, they were through Spectrum, so we were I'm paying uh, shit. Oh, okay. No, it was for- Jazzy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I would get a new daughter. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> new dog, and I was like, what? No, no it was Jazzy. <laughs> no, but she- I uh, hear you, and I still stand by what I said. Like, I mean, she wait. would throw them away. <laughs> and this was for, like- Or a, flush them. Like a living room TV uh, or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like the Spectrum remote. But yeah, she uh, no, she would just do random shit with them all the time. She did right. the same shit with Danielle's phone. So, are we down to- Are we? Are we- ready to get down to business because there's business at hand yeah and we need to figure it out that you do not like the word agenda and when people utilize it (laughs) that's correct oh yeah okay you want to know how i got that info how'd you get that info motherfucking teach a dummy podcast son (laughs) gang to the fucking gang and y'all did talk shit every once in a while (laughs) yeah we we did did. (laughs) and i'm not gonna lie i didn't listen to the whole hour and 45 minutes that's fair i'm not let me stop you let me stop you right here now, this is a, it's it's kind of the same question, but it's kind of a two-part question. So, when did you listen to it? Did you listen to it today 
after I posted a certain picture on our Facebook. No. Okay. okay. No. Because I was, was before that. I posted something and I was yeah. like, I kind of hope he doesn't see this because then it might remind you oh, to do it. No. <laughs> Plus, I'm barely on Facebook to look at shit. Right. So when did you listen to it? Uh, Yesterday morning, actually. Okay. How um, far did you get? Like Give or take. 25 minutes into it, I think. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. All right, that's fine. Well, we talked way more shit than you heard. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't I mean, know. Yeah, it was all in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. With, all with love. I feel it. I put a, a clip out of last week us talking about it, and that was the, uh, that's the thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> and, too bad I didn't. And I was like, I hope he doesn't see it because it'll <laughs> give him the idea. I didn't. All right. Oh, um, yeah. Like, so that was going to be my next point was I uh, didn't listen to the whole hour and 45. I only got like 25 minutes into it, but I tried. I listened to a podcast. You did. What did you think of it? It's not bad. It's just I don't – it's not my cup of tea. I don't know. I don't <laughs> – So the reason I like podcasts is because it makes me think about stuff that I wouldn't normally think about like in, a in you know, your everyday thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's two or more – or I mean sometimes one, but – Generally, two people, you know, having a conversation about whatever they're talking about, and it's just different perspective and different views, and you just think about stuff differently. It it brings up memories that you have, you know, what would you do in certain situations and, you know, stuff like that. So it just, yeah, it it gets me out of my, like, routine of hearing. Like, so I, I would say that this is a little different, uh, but... To the same point, you know people that, like, never get out of their small town? Yeah. And they're stuck thinking of the same kind of dumb shit <clears> talking <throat> to you, Belleville. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but podcasts, like, alleviate that at least a little bit <clears throat> because you're getting different perspectives and stuff like that oh, on no. different topics. No, I agree. So that's why I like it. And don't get me wrong. I'm not shitting on podcasts. I'm like I said. I, <laughs> no, no, we get it. I yeah. don't. I don't. The only reason I feel like I don't have the want to listen to it, I guess, or the capability to listen right. to it, like sit there and listen to it, is I just don't feel like dealing with fucking people when I'm away from people. Okay, yeah, I see. So that. I get that. If yeah, I, I were to that. listen to something, I, I like it to just be like music to clear my head, like. I to get, get away from shit. And that's usually what usually what I'm doing. Like if I'm not at work or like even if I'm at work sometimes, like it's just it's gotta be like the music to help me concentrate on shit. Right. So I I to your point, yes. Like, cause it was cool. And there was times where I was like with you when you were talking about different names and shit with uh the fucking uh uh oh my god, Game of Thrones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking about Arya, Daenerys. and I think you were talking about her sister, Sansa. I wasn't, but yeah. yeah. But <laughs> it was at first, Ar- Arya you were talking Daenerys. about Daenerys. But yeah, and then I was like, I was trying to, like, oh, no, it's this, this. like, but and, see, and, yeah. So shit like that. So yeah, it is cool to listen to him, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just yeah. not me, something that I can do. For me, like, I'm old, and I don't like any new music, at least the ones that I'm just, like, hearing. Mm-hmm. It's, right. like, more it's more difficult for me to like find music that I want to listen yeah. to. Yeah. So it's easier for me to find a podcast that I want to listen to than, than music. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, same, and that's cool. Same here. Like, you know, music's my thing, but I listen to a podcast 90% of the time yep. I'm in a car, probably a little same. more. Right. Um, because I, I want to explore those ideas. A lot of the stuff I listen to is comedy, but yeah. they, they're not just sitting there talking about jokes and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. They're talking about real life, but they just make it funny. Yep. Yeah. So so that's why I like it, too. But, yeah, it's just nice to explore different things. Oh, yeah. I feel it. <laughs> yeah, look at that shit. Y'all see that? But. Y'all see that? <laughs> I had to pay up. I had to pay up. Dang. <laughs> and, really, I think it comes down to me still owing you that, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like. Nobody, nobody ended up winning or losing anything no, originally. No, we, it was pretty much breaking even with. Because yeah, wait. The so this amount. is this is the breakdown of, of this bet. <laughs> you ready? So I owed Baker eighty dollars, then he owed me sixty dollars. <laughs> so then I owe him twenty dollars. Right. But okay. then he didn't listen to the podcast, 
So he owed me ten dollars, <laughs> which means I still owe him ten dollars. Yeah. But then we bet again for this week, and we did double or nothing. <laughs> so then he would have owed me ten dollars. You know, yeah. it's a twenty dollar bet at this point. So he would have owed me ten dollars, or I owe him now twenty. <laughs> but originally, I owed him twenty anyway. <laughs> so, so we broke broke even with the original amount. Yeah, it was like a three week long bet. That's funny, and uh, that's how we roll. And it worked out, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, I, I'm proud of you, though, man. I appreciate I'm, it. I'm proud. What uh, what caused you to remember? Uh, I was just on my way home from work. Okay. And it just popped in your head, huh? It just popped into your head. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't right. know what, and it, and it did too. And I was Christ. just like, I don't know. And I was gonna say, I had that, to figure out where the fuck I could listen to, to it at. To be honest with you, this is probably more evidence of aliens than your front door. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they they imp- implanted that idea into your head, in, into my head. Yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and listen to it. All right, guys. A little break in the action here to shout out our Patreon producers. And our small business sponsor. That's right. Uh, we will start with our producers. We got Taylor, Tom, Patty Light, Barilli, Joel, Sarah, Steve, Anthony, Jeremiah, Nate, Twitch.tv slash Evil Tony, and the Teacher Dummy Podcast. Uh, we appreciate everybody on the Patreon. We appreciate everybody listening, watching, subscribing, liking, all that, all that stuff. kind of stuff. Um, all of it. But, yeah, I, I do want to take a moment here to make sure you guys go subscribe to the Teach a Dummy podcast as well. That is uh, the lovely Tim and BJ that you guys hear and see in the background sometimes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but, yeah, definitely go check them out. We appreciate everybody, and we definitely appreciate our sponsor. That's right, Brew Baker Photography. <laughs> It's B R U B A K E R, um, photography one, and you can find them on Facebook dot com slash Brubaker Photography one. Why do you never want to spell photography? Because that's a big word. But you you're looking you don't know at how. B R U B A K E R P H O T O G R A P H Y dot com. It just sounds too fucking long. It's very long, and please don't do it again. Yeah. See, thank you. <laughs> uh, but Brubaker Photography, shout out to them, a uh, local business. Go ahead and make sure you guys support them. Um, they've supported us pretty much since we've started doing this, so yeah. we appreciate yeah. them. Very, very much. Um, But just a local couple that are trying to, you know, go ahead and get their local business on. You like how I put that there? (laughs) All right. I like Um, it. But, yeah, just taking some pictures, uh, sending positivity throughout the entire world, universe, all over the place, especially Facebook. Um, But check them out on Facebook. Uh, Go ahead and check their photos out. Back to the action. Man, I, I I was hoping to to come out of here with some money, but uh, yeah, but uh, there is something I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking forward to. What Space Jam? Everybody stand up! <laughs> 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 yeah, Space Jam. I don't know. I it's everybody get up. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Whatever. Know. I don't know. It was funnier the first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was. You're the one that told him to I hold know. on to look, it. Look, look, we had to try it again. It didn't work. No, it's no. okay. We move on. It's all it's a good. Rule of three in comedy. It's all good. Yeah, we try. We try. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what uh, Space Jam? What came out today? Right? Yeah, or, the new legacy or yeah. something like that. Um, with LeBron, all that. Um, I'm I'm assuming we've all seen at least the trailer of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's start with Baker. What What do you expect? Are you excited? I'm what, not uh, too excited. Okay, <laughs> but I'm watching it tomorrow. I was though. gonna say you you said you were gonna watch it tomorrow. Yeah. Are the kids excited? Do they even know about it? They know about it. Jazzy actually ex- asked if we were going today um, to go see it. So, cool story. We oh, got HBO you Max. actually go to oh, like, okay. theaters and see it? No, we got HBO Max. Oh, okay. So I think I it is it. in theaters, though, yeah, too, right? It is. It just dropped today, um, which is Friday, um, for those that are listening. In about and, four or five days. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, so, HBO Max... Like, since the whole quarantine, or at least that I know of, since the whole quarantine shit started, they started uh, streaming same day, some yep. of the shit in theaters. Right. So, I've got a friend's uh, login, which is dope of course, shit. Of course. And 
Uh, I'm sure it just came out, or it did just come out on HBO Max as well. So I was telling Danielle, I was like, hey, man, it's not like going to the movies. Like, let's just go to the store and get some snacks. Like, shit, we can even go to the movie theater and grab some popcorn there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get Are you going to walk into the movie theater, grab popcorn, and dip? Bro, yeah, I, done hand, it I would hands down do that. Done like, it before. Really? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm, not, I th- I'm pretty sure they is, DoorDash popcorn. It is not do they uncommon. Really? Yeah. I think they do, man. This is not an uncommon thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, me and Lakin went to the movies. Uh, it's been a couple weeks ago. I forget what we went to see. but um, Oh, I think we went to see A Quiet Place. But, uh, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a sign that they actually do DoorDash popcorn. Yeah. Wow. Dude, imagine that, like a little thing of popcorn. Plus yeah. DoorDash, plus tip. <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh, that talking, shit would be nuts. You're talking seventy five dollars. That's for a little thing of popcorn. That, that's Five Guys prices right there, man. Right, right. Oh man, I love Five uh. Guys. But the prices <laughs> piss me off. But yeah, we're about to, we're about to watch it at the crib. Uh, so the kids know about it. Caden, you never really get his feels for it. Jazzy, I don't know how she feels about it, but she wanted she at least wanted to go see it. Have they seen the first one? Yeah, okay. yeah, they Do both they like seen it. it. Uh, to my knowledge, they didn't okay. dislike it. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. But me personally, um, I, and I'm not a huge sports fan. Like, yeah. don't I don't want people to think to get me all twisted up there. It's upsetting. Yeah, I mean, I like I'll I'll watch sports. Don't get me wrong, but I can't. I don't follow that shit. Like, right, religiously or anything. Yeah. Um, but I've never really been a huge fan of LeBron. Um, I know he's talented. I know he is, but he's got right. a fucking huge ego that I fucking hate. Dude, uh, so did, I mean, so I did mean, Michael Jordan. MJ, you Dude, can't even talk about ego Anybody that Michael good Jordan. does. Like, you, yeah. ha- you can't it, be yeah. that good without one. I think I, I, would, I would debate, and we don't have to get down this road, I would debate LeBron is one of the most humble I would agree superstars with that. ever. I guess in I, any sport. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why that, I actually, chose yeah. ego to go with. Um, I did want to hate LeBron. Originally, I tried so hard, man, for years. I was like, I did fuck too. him. Can't stand him. And then he was just, like, always doing the right shit. And I'm like, yeah, fuck this. Uh, yeah, but he, he fucked, I don't know. He fucked his teams over and just kept switching teams just to go for a championship ring. Mm, that's that's Dude, a person. he is the championship ring. I was He's not say, chasing championship that, rings. That is the view of somebody who doesn't know sports. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck it. That's, that is he makes what it is. The, he is that's, the team. Yeah, that's a whole different <laughs> yeah. thing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I'll get I'll get into but, that. <laughs> I don't know. I just I I don't know. I just don't like him. So you're you're not super excited for it or anything? I mean, I think it'll be a decent movie. I love my right. movies, right? And I like I like Looney Tunes. All right, Tim. So I hope he doesn't fuck it up. Two things. One, yeah. are we still recording? Just want to make sure everywhere. Yes, we are. Camera. Because yes, we are. Because we don't have a monitor now, yep. and we're still under an hour. <laughs> And this is freaking me out. I don't like it. <laughs> Stress uh, level. Luckily, high. we got the baxter berry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say, actually, I mean, it it hasn't even been mentioned. Not that it is a big deal, but hopefully you guys notice on YouTube, uh, this should be recording in 4K. Um, as long as, like, my computer doesn't, like, blow up <laughs> <to> trying, to, <laughs> trying, to, trying to export this. But this file, I mean, if if we continue with these 4K things, this video is gonna be close to 100 gigabytes. That's insane. That's insane. When you, yeah, yeah. When you told me that, I'm like, what? It's wild. <laughs> 100 um, gigabytes. But yeah, so we're recording on 4K. How many is that? Oh which, my goodness. Uh, which okay. means we cannot see on our monitor because it just isn't compatible while you're doing 4K. So I have a lot of anxiety right now. But anyway, <laughs> Tim. What do you think of Space Jam? What's I, uh, what's your expectation? I am more, even more pessimistic than Baker is. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, I am. I mean, I'm a LeBron fan. I don't have anything bad to say about him. Mm-hmm. Um, Unfortunately, he d- delivered one of the happiest days of my life. So for that, I am eternally grateful. Yeah, you're you're a huge Cleveland <laughs> am, fan just yes. in general. So yep. Um, so yeah, I don't wish anything bad on him, but this movie looks like absolute dog shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it. Uh, so I feel like you. I didn't wish anything bad upon him either. Shit, hold on. Let me clear the air there. I don't wish anything bad upon him either. I, I didn't think you did. I'm but. just saying the way that no, he no, said I that. Not, I wasn't trying to make it seem like you did. I'm just I'm saying. I'm just in making general, sure others. No, no, no. Others now know that. No, you're good. All right, guys. In the comments, light up Baker for everything he said <laughs> about LeBron. Um, no, but no. Huge fan of the first one, but this movie just looks like absolute trash. Yeah, yeah. man. It it looks 
it looks like they tried to make it very, very, very 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and the first one was dope as shit. Yeah, the yep. first one was good. The first one's a classic. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I, I mean, I'll probably watch it eventually, but I'm... Oh, I'm, I'm going to watch it soon. You you guys know how I, I am to, with yeah. movies and stuff. You're like, not I'm excited just, for it, though, are you? I'm. It's rare that I'm excited for, like, any movie, really. Um, but that's just because... Of my attention span. It has been getting like just absolutely lit up all over like yeah, social media and yeah. stuff. Like, has it really? Um, yeah. Well, so uh, Andrew Schultz, which is a uh, he's a comedian. I think I've seen. Is that was it like a tweet that he put out or something? Uh, I don't know about a tweet. He did a uh like a That's segment a of I didn't it, see it. Oh, okay. on uh on his podcast uh about this, and he brought up a good point. He's like these kids, like these types of movies are clearly made for... The newer generation. That generation. Well, kind of. But the purpose of this is for adults of our age that watch the original to to be nostalgic and stuff and watch the sequel. Yeah. Now, the criticism of this one is they didn't, you know, factor that generation that actually loves Space Jam into this. That is a fair point. Like, And my thing is, I don't think it's a fucking sequel. Yeah, but it is. not technically, I guess. Yeah, like yeah. in my eyes, it's not technically a sequel. There was no to be continued or going into it. Well, I mean, next... I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it, so I don't know if like it exists. No, like... I'm talking about the first one. No, I'm saying like I don't know, uh, like this next one. I don't know if it like it might exist in the same. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know. Same... I don't know if the Looney Tunes were aware. Like, hey, hey, LeBron, can you team up like MJ did in the last? Right, one? right, <laughs> right. So, but but that was the thing like they didn't they didn't um acknowledge the people who actually love the original yeah. space jam and i and get that like you the first one was a very like 90s movie well right and, and, and to appealed that point, to us you know yeah to that point like all of these characters the looney tunes and stuff like that the the kids now don't, don't know don't really know them they don't yeah. know the looney tunes so he brought up a good point uh he was like you know they're going to be doing you know, all these kind of inside things like, uh, you know, um, like Daffy Duck, like, what is it, slurring his words yep. or whatever, or whatever. The yeah. lisp. Yeah, the lisp. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, you know, the kids aren't going to understand why that's relevant. They're and not going to understand, funny. like, yeah, the farmer in the corner who, you know, keeps shooting himself in that, you know, head or whatever, which I guess probably won't be in there. No. Just probably because of not. 2021. Yeah. But yeah, you know, and I was like, that's a good point. But yeah, they made it. They they appealed the movie to, you know, little kids now who have no interest or know any background of this movie. That's very true. You know, um, so the one thing that I'm I just I'm not excited about and is making me very not excited about this movie. I don't, I can't think of another word, but it's very lazy, uh, <laughs> weird choice on my part, but, um, is I don't like the, just like references for the sake of having references, which this right. movie seems to have a lot of. Right. But that's yeah. the, that's the thing. Like the references, the kids aren't going to get, I mean, for, for the most part, like a lot of them are newer or recent, like, I don't oh, know. okay. Like, like, like you mean current event like, references? Or something? Yeah, I'm saying like the the things that are going to be popping up inside the movie, like Rick and Morty are in there, right, and like okay. everything like that. Like, okay. Like, current like the whole um, what's that movie that came out? <laughs> Good. Oh my that god! One, huh? Good one? description. Oh my god! I remember that one. Ready Player One. Oh, okay. They had like all the all the all the uh, comic references and stuff right, like that. I right. don't care. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Just so make a good movie. I guess collectively, we do not give a shit about this movie. No. I mean, I'll, 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 I'm excited to watch it. I just don't have any. We have no hope for it. No. I don't have any. Good no, I don't. I don't. Or good hope I don't think it's gonna be no. good. It's yeah. not. I think uh, it'll be. I think it'll be watchable. Yeah. I think it'll be bearable. Right. But I don't think it'll be good. All I right. do want to go see the fucking Forever Purge though. And I wish I Bill Murray would show up. I am pissed that I have not seen it yet. I'm gonna make it a thing to go see it. I've yeah, got to. I'm gonna have to see that eventually because it. Lakin is a huge fan uh, of the Purge movie, so I don't mind the Purge. Fucking movies. waiting for it, dude, and it dropped like a week ago. And right. I, I want to go see it at the drive-in. Mm. That'd be dope. Yep. 
See, I, I need to see that. I don't, I don't mind those movies, but like it comes down to I don't want to sit in a theater for two hours and also like oh, I, will I don't want to spend the seven, eight, ten dollars. Oh, I will for that. And I'm not my a, wife is the same way. But I'm not I a love cheap, theater. Like, yeah, I don't know. I love I'm, movie I'm not a cheap person. I spend money on way too much shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that's just not in my budget. <laughs> no, I definitely will. Especially um, when it comes to that yeah, f- Oh my god, I fucking love the purge. I miss the days of like when I was in high school and I went to every single like new movie that came out even I if miss I didn't the care about dollar it. Dollar theater. Yep. Yeah, me and Jerry yeah, used to too. do that all the time. We we had Tuesday dates and we went <laughs> we went to Long John Silver's and a dollar movie every yeah, Tuesday. Because they were cheaper on Tuesdays, weren't and they? Sometimes, yeah. I think there was a one dollar yeah. the actual one dollar. Yeah, it was like an actual dollar instead of like a dollar fifty or some right. shit. Um but yeah, and then sometimes we went on uh Went to two movies in the same day. I've done that before. But my yeah. attention span uh, is not there. Do you remember Grindhouse? Like the no. It was a Quentin Tarantino thing where um, it was a double feature. So it was like two movies in one. It was uh, Planet Terror and Death Proof. Mm. But he sold it as like a, an old style like Grindhouse movie where they would show two pictures in one. And it was like marketed that way. Oh. So in the theater, you bought a ticket for it and you would get to both movies. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, that's dope. I went and watched all that, like, by myself. <laughs> like, four hours worth. Jeez. I'm just like, this is amazing. Right. It's <laughs> crazy. All right. I oh, couldn't do that. What uh, what current events do you have for us, Tim? Yeah, what are we rolling with? Oh, man. How, oh, shit. What, what's Strap the time we're at? on. We are still under an hour. We're at 55. Cool. Okay. Cool. It's oh, fresh. no. Oh. Oh, I think shit. It, dang it. Stop reading ahead. I can't nightcap. Ah, ah reopening. Oh no. Ah. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> oh hell yes. <laughs> wow. That's right. what I'm talking about. This first one is actually my the the least exciting story I believe okay. in my oh, opinion. Fuck that. Okay. That's in dope. my opinion. Okay. So this one, they have tested a flying car and they completed a 35 minute test flight. Um, I believe it was in. It was in Slovakia. I do want to say, too, this article is written by a person named Jack Guy. (laughs) So. It's pronounced Guy. No, it's not. (laughs) It's definitely Guy. Uh, Yeah, tell us about it. Okay. Well, it says it was on Monday, but this is actually an old article. It is from June 30th. 30th, A couple weeks. Okay. Yeah. It is powered by a 160 horsepower BMW engine. Comes equipped with a fixed propeller and it transforms from aircraft to road vehicle in less than three minutes. Okay. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's completed more than forty hours of test flights and has flown at uh, eighty-two hundred feet, reaching a maximum cruising speed uh, speed of one hundred ninety kilometers per hour or one hundred eighteen miles per hour. Wow. Okay. Damn. Eighty-two hundred feet up. That thing looks pretty freaking sleek. Don't play. That that does look pretty cool though, but eighty two hundred feet. That's what a mile and a half off the ground, right? I don't know. A yeah. mile's like yeah, fifty three hundred or something. Fifty two eighty, I think. Okay. Yeah. So somewhere around there. Yeah, but basically exactly a mile and a half off the ground. Hell yeah, dude! That is dope as shit. Holy crap! That thing looks pretty cool. That does look <laughs> cool. I actually I, didn't watch the video. But. I want to know how much it costs. Oh wait. Um, they're working on a new model, uh, which will have a 300 horsepower engine. Um, scroll out a little bit. He plans to develop three and four seater model modules oh, man. of the air car. Uber and Hyundai unveiled plans for an electric flying taxi at last year's consumer electronics show. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. Dude. So we've, t- I think we've talked about this before. Um, and this this was something that, like, <laughs> do you remember when uh, when me and Justin were talking about the logistics of flying cars? I think so. I and think I remember getting on the topic. I, of I don't know why, but I just, like, went in on it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, dude, you can't do this because of this, 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 this. And, like, at the end, both of them were like, you and Justin were like, Yo, that was that was kind of like a dick move. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I'm just passionate about the logistics of these flying yeah. cars. Because, uh, like, dude, there's no air control. Well, that's the thing. It's like, like the biggest thing. Like, yeah. So you would have to rearrange like flight patterns and stuff, wouldn't you? You, you would, but that's the thing. You would have to have 
Yeah, like actual flight patterns. Yeah. Which means one of two things. Either one, you have something in the sky to dictate these right. flight patterns, not realistic. Or two, you don't have things in the sky. And it's chaos. And people are assholes. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, look how they drive on the fucking road. Right. Yeah. Right. That's all they got to think well, about. And then now you're going to give them well, a free open space in the air these above These things might be auto, like, piloted. I don't know. That would be a little better. That would be a little I better, would, I, I would think. I could see that more than actually. Yeah, that's that's banned. fair. That's fair. That's one uh, counterpoint that Justin didn't bring up. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is wild. I mean, I, I'm excited to see whoa. the chaos involved in this. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Go down. A little bit more. Look, Volkswagen said in February that it is looking into flying vehicles in China. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Porsche, the Meyer, and Toyota Daimler. have all backed startups in what is known as electric vertical takeoff and landing. So literally everybody's working on this shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's nice. it's not going to be much It's longer. inevitable. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to happen. Oh, it's just the, the logistics is what it's gonna, what's going to get all messed up. Um, there's no price or anything on here, right? No, no, uh, no uh. it's not even in that, at that stage yet. I don't think. All right. All right. What else you got? All right. This one. I can just see the beginning of the <laughs> titles. Okay. Okay. This Whoa, one is titled a urine saturated, urine saturated home dubbed little slice of hell listed for $590,000. Wait, hold on. A brutally honest realtor described the Colorado home. As having profanity scrawled on walls and a fridge filled with rotting meat. What yeah. the fuck? For uh, five ninety? What five is going bedroom, on? Five bedroom, four bath. They, that doesn't tell you how bad the housing market is right now. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Realtor Mimi Foster said that a dilapidated five bedroom, four bath Colorado Springs home, adorned in spray painted <laughs> sayings like "suck my ass." And feces stuffed in drawers is a pretty hot commodity. Okay, Mimi, I appreciate your sales efforts, but don't don't lie. Dude, she told <laughs> she, the local she news she 16 received. written cash offers in the first 24 hours of the house uh, being on the fucking market. Is this a fucking prank? But I mean, if it's if it's in Colorado Springs, it's a five bath five bedroom, four bath. I mean, if you put, if you put, oh, that's not even that bad, though. It's not, dude. That's just spray paint. I would not mind fucking. I'm no. thinking, I'm thinking like a fucking crack house or something. <laughs> but, dude, these, these pictures, you can easily fix that. And just think, dude, you <laughs> wouldn't have to be one of those people like, oh, my God, do I really have to put this into the fucking report? She literally put their spray painting that says "suck my ass." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's I honest. Mean, she's, she's, yeah, she's not playing. Book. <laughs> it said brutally honest. Yep. And the Look, shit sells. Okay. She says, "Come feast your senses. Do not go, oh, in all caps. Do not go on back deck. Do not open freezer and basement." Wow. <laughs> uh, she added, "Don't let that slow you down. It's not nearly as daunting as the freezer in the basement that's full of meat." <laughs> and hasn't had electricity <laughs> for over a year, um, be sure to wear your mask. <laughs> yeah, and then about the uh, back patio, don't oh go out God. there as a deck, as the deck is not necessarily attached to the house This woman is in a the genius. manner you might hope. This woman is a genius at marketing. A YouTube video she made, uh, she backed it by horror movie sound effects. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> That's amazing. Of course. Oh, dude, this isn't like even that bad. Really though, really. I know, I like this shit. Nice. To be honest, like, that shit looks nice. Yeah, I mean, so think about this: a five bedroom, four bath. It's pretty. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's paint and there's some things that needs fixed and all that. Yeah, and honestly, they're probably not showing you the worst of it. But well, but if if you put, I mean, if you put five hundred thousand into this house, you can get a lot done, and then you could probably sell it for. One or two million in Colorado Springs, probably. Oh hell yeah. yeah! So that's why. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's not showing you the worst because it, it's 
Basically, about, like, like they had a bunch of animals, and uh, there's like urine and feces everywhere. Uh, <laughs> feces crammed in uh, the drawers. The prior tenant stole the stove and dishwasher. Um, drawers crammed with feces. Yeah, scroll down just a little bit. Uh, prior tenant was also pretended to be the owner of the home <laughs> and had a new roof contracted, which was apparently not installed well. Oh, that one's going to suck. Right. Uh, <laughs> and then she basically left the house saying that, uh, she was not on the lease. Like, it's not, it's not my house. Oh, Oh, it's my understanding she had cats. Oh, wait, 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 okay, wait. You got to back up. Okay. All right, it right, says right. no one knows what happened to the original Lisey, but it's believed that she died and then a relative moved in. She's in the fucking basement in the freezer. <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> right. about? That's the meat. And it's yeah, it's the relative who moved in who did all of this damage after she'd been evicted. Yeah. Yeah. Because she just killed somebody and she went crazy. That's Probably fine. started doing some crack or meth and spray painted the fucking house. Mystery solved. Suck my ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she said, uh, it's my understanding she had cats. Uh, but tragically, when she moved out, she left two of them in the bathroom. It appeared they had been there for quite some time. And the other cats that weren't left in the bathroom got cooked up in some meth head <laughs> stew. Oh, either that or they're next to her in the freezer. Oh, oh man. Oh, but okay. So that little, little cat Karen stew that that took a turn for for the worse. But I'm <laughs> also a detective, so I I think that's a win win. All right, what else you got for six hundred right, thou though? Yeah. Dude, I would buy that house for six hundred thousand for the pictures I saw. Yeah, for that house in that area, six hundred thousand is probably not fucking. Yeah. Is probably it's one probably of the biggest steal. steals. Dude, I mean, if if you're if you what did she say she got like twelve or fifteen least, offers I think in twenty four hours? It was like yeah, 12, twelve cash offers. Yeah, people don't do that just because. I mean, and it was like it's five bedroom, four baths. So right, fucking huge. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, what else okay, you got? Okay, so this next one. I, I saw it for a second. This and next one, I actually saw it a long time ago, but I forgot to bring it up on here. So I wonder if it's the one that I'm I saw. I'm sure it probably is. It's pretty big. but um, And this one, we can it can kind of delve into politics, but we we don't have to go that route. because Let's we can make fun of people. As we can appreciate the fucking stupidity in it yes. without having to do any of that shit. Let's go that so, route. Okay. So this. This actually happened mm-hmm. in Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, this bitch is awesome. <laughs> Nurses attempt to prove vaccines make people magnetic hilariously backfires. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this bitch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> she goes, I don't know, if it, it was in front of some like a high lawmakers. Um, she's an RN, by the way. She's a registered nurse. Yep. And uh, she goes to say that, uh, yeah, uh, don't get the vaccine because it makes people magnetic. Right, right. Now, before you play the video, because I definitely want you to play the video, okay. but before you do, remember how I was talking about people who don't get out of their local town? <laughs> yeah. This is one of them <laughs> bitches. And the problem is, she's the smartest one, or one of them, and she's a nurse. Yeah. But she also still didn't get out of her hometown and thinks this. So, Or she could be one of those people that you guys talked about on the podcast where she just says, well, on Facebook, they say. Yeah. Well, okay. (laughs) We'll we'll get to that because I'm pretty sure she says that exactly. Um, But this is a, well, I don't even want to read her quote. Last thing before we go tonight, the train to Crazy Town made an unscheduled whistle stop in Ohio this week. You're about to hear from a doctor and a nurse, medical professionals who have had contact with patients. They happen to be (laughs) anti-vaxxers and conspiracy theorists. You've no doubt heard the conspiracy theory that they are injecting some sort of Um, electronic tracking device in liquid form through a needle into our arm. But this, yeah, at we'll, a committee we'll hearing in the Ohio fine, legislature, but... this was next level. Vaccines do harm people. By the way, so I just found out something when I was on lunch, and I wanted to show it to you. We were talking about Dr. Tenpenny's testimony about magnetic vaccine crystals. So this is what I found out. So I have a key and a bobby pin here. Oh my God. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. 
It sticks to my neck, too. Look at the chick in the background. In the blue. <laughs> yeah, so if somebody can explain this, that would be great. Any questions? <laughs> yeah, so many questions. And while the demonstration didn't work out as well as she had planned, <laughs> On the upside, it launched so many memes, some of them downright the artistic. Clearly weren't and a number of people applauded the convenience of being magnetized yeah. when you're going through your house and you can't <laughs> find your keys. All right. Yeah, but there, there's actually another video, too, that's similar. Um, oh, that is fantastic. But, yeah, that's it's amazing. Uh, these people are, are real. Um, Here's how stupid I am. Okay. All Before right. I left... <laughs> I fucking tried it. <laughs> well, look, I haven't tried Baker's uh, uh, well, uh, key it, fob thing it yet. It fucking works. I don't know, dude. Dude, we'll go outside well, yeah, okay. after this and prove it. Okay. It did not stick to my forehead. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah, we I mean, it, it sticks to you just because all over your body, pretty much. You're fucking sweaty. I'm pretty sure. It's that, sticky. It's that, but everywhere on your body, except I believe your palms and your feet. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Everywhere else on your body at has least grippers. has has little hairs, like microscopic hairs at least. Like a spider. So between that and, yeah, just being naturally damp. Gross. <laughs> I was going to say damp, <laughs> like like white people are. Naturally uh, moist. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so. Moist, we talk about it. There, there was another video too that I saw that was similar, but, um, but yeah, she's like putting it on her arms, on her necks, uh, on her necks. I made that plural. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there was another one, uh, that that she was like, I saw on Facebook. Go to go to YouTube, Tim, because I gotta I gotta right. pull this up. Uh, yeah, type in uh, what. Uh, anti-vaxxer, I mean, I don't even know what you would type in, anti-vaxxer, uh, in front of court or something like that. Is it a combination of the protein, which now we're finding has a metal attached to it? I'm sure you've seen the pictures all over the internet of people who've had these shots and now they're magnetized. They can put a key on their forehead, it sticks. They can put spoons and forks all over them and they can stick. Because now we think that there's a metal piece to that. There's been people who've long suspected that there was some sort of an interface, yet to be defined, an interface between what's being injected in these shots and all of the 5G towers. <laughs> you can turn it off. That's in, in the fucking... The, <laughs> that's dude, the, the one I was talking about. The confidence <laughs> oh. that she had when she spoke that... <laughs> Bro, she didn't even miss a beat. I'm my own personal Wi-Fi hotspot. Right. That's awesome. It, right. She didn't miss a beat. <laughs> she had 120% confidence when she was speaking. She said, I read it on the internet. Straight up started the fucking sentence with, I read it on the internet. <laughs> or the pictures you have seen on the internet. And that there is a she's interface. A part, she's a part, She's this is the person that's a part of that group that it says, uh, a member of the disinformation dozen, the twelve people, twelve people responsible for sixty-five percent of anti-vaccine misinformation shared on the internet. <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, that was the original chick, right? That's the chick in that one, because that's her. Her name was Ten Penny or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's oh the in the, the, in the, the one we video. just watched. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. That's oh, insane. yeah. Okay. Oh, she's a physician. She's a physician. Yeah. Yeah. The false vaccine. Vaccine magnetism theory so these was are, brought up. These early are not stupid people, but by they are physician, stupid people. Yeah. <laughs> wow, dude! And then, but, but her fucking smooth transition between the magnetization people yeah. and the interface, and the interface <laughs> of the five G towers. I don't fucking believe anything she said, but I'm gonna give her props <laughs> for her I mean, presentation. She's. Look, All she's got to do is apply logic to it. Bro, she's she, Adam. Straight up. <laughs> hey, straight hey, up. No. Look, okay, so I'm... Make a, that shit sound good. <laughs> I give her the same props that we gave Guacamole Kid and QAnon. <laughs> when they believe something... They passionate. They really fucking believe it. They in it. They really fucking believe it. If, uh, you know, if she subscribes, then... Yeah. 
Yeah, but goddamn, I, mean, I she's give family, her. You know? I definitely give her an F for fucking knowledge. Proof. Hey, so <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to do something really bad, but never mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I was going to set something up, and it would not be good. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, these people are wild. These people are crazy, and uh, you know they're real. I don't understand how these are real people. I don't understand how anybody gets to this point. I don't get it, especially when you have a medical degree of some sort. Yeah, even if it's a two, four, six, whatever year degree. Yeah, good job, America. <laughs> I mean, they're I mean, the ones like, letting these motherfuckers get these. Like, they're, how, they're, 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 they they're took their jobs. <laughs> uh, how could you be so smart and be so fucking stupid? Dude, that shit happens know. all the fucking time, That's though. There's, saying, yeah. there's so many people that are just straight book smart. Well, I will say, and then some people that just don't like, yeah, or that are common sense smart. It. Like, so I, I'm, I'm gonna leave this open because I don't want to get anybody in trouble obviously but yeah. there's a listener of this podcast who had who their parent worked at a college okay okay um i believe it's in Ohio. well yeah it's definitely in ohio somewhere in ohio yeah and one of the professors i don't know what what his parent did um he wasn't like a professor or anything but he worked at the college mm-hmm. um but one of the professors uh it was like a physics professor somebody who's like a genius and they couldn't figure out why their car wouldn't start, right? They were out of gas, okay? <laughs> so, so, um, the the parent, the I'm trying to keep it broad so I don't get anybody in trouble, right. obviously, but he went to the gas station, filled up a gas can for him, and, you know, said, here you go, put some gas in your car. Mm-hmm. And the guy said, how do I put gas in my car? What? He did not know how to do it. Who does it? I I don't know. I mean, <laughs> they do have occasionally they have the drive up ones like Swifty used to yeah, be around. I ain't seen one of them for a minute. But maybe oh, they had one in this area. I think that's a thing in the West that they still yeah. do a lot. I don't. Maybe. I don't think they pump. This their was own definitely gas in Ohio, but this story was. I mean, this this was like ten this years story ago. Was back when Swifty was around. Yeah, this was ten years ago. Now, at like this in different states, I think Oregon's one of them that I've heard that they still like. Don't pump right. their own gas. Damn, this is actually like 14 years ago. Shit. Because <laughs> you're getting old. I'm definitely getting old. Who's getting old? You're fucking tired. <laughs> you got to work tonight? Yeah. yeah Damn. Um, <laughs> Welcome. But Welcome uh, my where are we at? We're at probably a little over an hour now. Hour, hour 17. We had six days Damn. a week on third shift. You don't even, you're not even finishing sentences now. I did. What did you say? We had six days a week on third shift. Okay. I heard that, but it sounded like there was a second half of the sentence. Well, that's not what I fucking intended. <laughs> well, you put the wrong inflection yeah. <laughs> into the sentence. Come on, bro. Learn how to talk. I got something for both of you. Hold on. You only have one of them. How are we going to share? <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Um, but yeah, I guess we should probably wrap up. But That's what she said. <sighs> Unfortunately. Um... But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for checking out episode, what are we on, 103, I think? I don't know. We stopped doing numbers. Oh, yeah, 103. I'm sorry. We yeah, did. you're right. I don't know, 100 and something. Um, if you don't know now, I'm Adam, <laughs> just because we never introduce ourselves. <laughs> and I'm Ryan. Uh, and that's, that's Tim I'm of Tim. the Teach a Dummy podcast. Uh, but, yeah, we appreciate everybody, uh, you know, listening, subscribing, <laughs> liking, all that fun stuff. Are you over there yawning again? Like an old <laughs> ass I am bitch. yawning. Um, anything else you want to say before you fall asleep? Gang, gang. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. And until next week, peace.